Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Rafia Rashid and I'm from 70 Tourism Vocational High School. I'm not alone here. I'm here with my friend Fafa, and she will be the moderator for today's webinar. Hello, Fafa. Hello, introduce my name is Fafa. Here I will guide you all in the discussion <laughs> session in this webinar. Okay, we would like to remind you that we have 150,000 here for the lucky questioners and the most active participants. Before we start, Please tell us about how you feel this morning by giving us an article via Zoom. Okay, I think everyone is all right, <laughs> as I can see right now. So, okay, Rafi, can we start now? It's already 30 and 14 p.m. Sorry, Rafi, can we start now? Okay, before we start, um, please, wait a moment, please. Okay, before we start, let's pray each other beliefs. Berdoa uh, mulai. Ya, berdoa selesai. <clears throat> okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's start this webinar by saying basmalah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, Papa, the screen is yours. Okay, thank you, Rafi. Today, we are presenting Satu Babakan Leveling in Pandemic, presented by Haikal. I just want to remind all of you that if you have any questions during the presentation, just type your question in the room chat. I'll bring, I'll bring them up during the presentation, and we will also have time for questions at the end. Okay, I want you to write down one word on the chat room about Betawi culture. Please mention one of traditional song from Betawi. Yeah, Kitir Kitir. Kitir Kitir is one of uh, one song of the traditional song in the Betawi culture. <laughs> yeah, Jolly Jolly. Okay. Uh, now. We will turn the time over to Haikal. Our presenter today is Haikal. Haikal is our fellow student in 70 vocational high school. He's from 11 hospitality. He loves playing game. Uh, am I right, Haikal? 
Well, he's playing mobile game. Yeah, and he's such a humble person. Okay, I will not talk too much here. So, hi, Kyle. The screen is yours. Okay, guys. Uh, my voice is clear. Okay, thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you for Rafi and Papa for the introduction. Hello, guys. Good afternoon. I hope you're not sleepy. And here I will be your presenter for the set of Okay, Rafi, please share the presentation. Sorry, Papa. I can share screen. Uh, Uh, just a minute, there's a uh, trouble here.
Okay, guys, uh, we are going some problem with our presentation. Okay, guys, uh, the first uh, we will talk about the And I will explain you what is Betawi culture. Betawi tribe began to form in the 17th century and the result of the acculturation from several tribes. In terms of race or DNA or genetics, this ethnic group was born from a mix of indigenous ethnic group with the various other ethnic groups, such as Sundanese, Malay, Makassaris, Javanese, and the others. And in terms of ethnicity, ranging from culture, customs, culinary, community habits, and the other arts, the Betawi tribe is strongly influenced by Malay and Chinese culture. And guys, I want to ask something for you. What comes in your mind when you hear about Setu Babakan? Please let me know in the room chat. Betawi, of course, uh, but Setu Baban is like uh, Betawi cultural village. I will explain it later. Yeah, Betawi. Okay, thank you. Let's uh, go to the next slide. Jaga Karsa, of course, Jaga Karsa is the place where Setu Baban. And now we will, uh, I will explain you what is the history of Setu Baban. Setu Babakan is an area designed for the preservation of Jakarta cultural heritage called Betawi. And the, the, the old Betawi culture, like the arts, the song, the traditional song, the dance, the musical instrument are centered in Setu Babakan. Setu Babakan is built on September 15, 2000 by Mr. Sutioso, the governor of DKI Jakarta at that time, to the governor of Babakan means new village. And for the function of Satu Babakan, the first one, there is a for a flood control, and the second one as a raw water reserves for the South Jakarta area. And Satu Babakan, uh, the, the, the whites of Satu Babakan covers 165 hectares consisting of the People's Garden, the Batawi this village. And if you want to go to Setu Babakan, you can use your own transportation or you can use the online transportation like Gojek or Grab. And you can use the public transportation too, like a train, minibus, or in Indonesia, there is a transportation called Angkot. If you want to go to Setu Babakan uh, with a train, you can get off in the Lenteng Agung station, then you can take Angkot and get off in front of Setu Next slide, please. Okay, Setu Babakan is reopened uh, through a trial phase since early September 2000. Announced by Mr. Sandiaga Ulan is open from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. For the weekends, uh, Setu Babakan is open from 7 a.m. until 4 p.m. But for the Betawi Museum, it's open from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. But still, we have to stick to strict health protocol. There are three zones in Setu Babakan. I will explain you what is the zone A, and zone B, and zone C. And 
there may there are so many actions so I think of like the activities of people or uh, the tools that the Tawi people uh, use. And, and in the zone A, there is an amphitheater too. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. There is also the theater build, building or stage called amphitheater. Usually, many Betawi people perform the musical performance or the dance in this stage, the amphitheater. It's so sad because in this pandemic, uh, the performance is not, it's not like, not, not happen again. And before we go to the zone B, please mention one Betawi culinary. I want to know what is the Thai culinary that you know, please. Or you can open your mic and say, what is your favorite Thai culinary, please? Kerak telur, serabi, yeah, serabi is a good snack for the young generation, I think. Beer Blotok. Beer Blotok is like the drink from the ginger, I think. Lopis Betawi. Soto Betawi. Yeah, Soto Betawi is so famous in the Indonesia community, I think. Selendang Mayang. Yeah, Selendang Mayang is so fresh, uh, especially when we drink it in the afternoon. Okay, guys, let's continue. It's zone B. And there is a zone B. If, uh, if you are culinary lovers, you can go to the zone B because in the zone B, there is so many Betawi's culinary. There are about so 250 culinary traders there. Zone okay, for the Betawi's culinary, there is a booth with food, snacks, and beverage. For the foods, there is gado gado, there is nasi udu, soto betawi. I want to ask some questions for you guys. Do you ever, uh, do you ever feel, uh, taste the gado gado? Please come on, uh, share your experience. What is, uh, what do you think about gado gado? Can you open your mic and you can talk to me? But gado gado, what is the taste of gado gado? Mm. Is it anyone want to talk about gado gado? Yes, it's so delicious. Of course, manios. Yeah, gado gado is made from the mixed vegetables that with the peanut peanut sauce, I think. And it's nutty and savory. Of course, it's nutty. There is a peanut sauce. And we continue to the snacks and beverage. There is kerak telur. You know kerak telur, right? Kerak telur is very famous in Betawi's community. It's not only for Betawi's community. Many people know kerak telur, even the, the people from the outside Indonesia, like the foreign to the tourism, the tourist. And there is kue ape, and there is uh, bir bloto. I want to ask you something. What do you know about bir bloto? Do you know what bir bloto is? What is that? Please tell me. Oh no, it's okay. It's know about beer pluto wow it's so it's so pretty if you don't like the beer pluto because the beer pluto is so healthy for our body it contains ginger cinnamon lemongrass it's so healthy for our body even the, for your information beer pluto is useful to prevent a cancer that's good right I don't know about beer bloto. I, I explain again about beer bloto. Yeah, made of many kinds of herbs. Uh, of the beer bloto. 
Birutop is useful to cancer. In this zone C is artificial island. In the zone C, there are two types of Betawi people. Betawi position and Betawi And what as you can see in the picture, in the see people perform the dance. If you want to, if you if you go to the Bahkan, I think uh, I recommended you to see the performance in the amphitheater. The one what you can see and you, what you can do in Seto Bahkan is water recreation. Okay, guys, uh, have you? Uh, Ever tried the, the water recreation like the boat or the dragon boat? Please say yes or no. Boom chat. So I think if you want to go to the I recommend you to try the water cycle, especially the duck boat. If you will go to Setu Babakan with a group, I think you can try the dragon boat because the dragon boat is so big. The capacity, um, I think, up to 20 people. So I recommend that you to try the dragon boat and the duck boat too. And I just want to know that one thousand you can ask me you can ask me yay if you if you want the door prize ask me some question the three luckiest person will get the gift come on ask something guys hmm. Are you sure you guys don't want to add something to me about Sentubakan or about Bajawi culture? Yeah, it's so, it's so popular destination because there is uh, so many things that we can learn in Sentubakan, especially Bajawi culture. And for this, I uh, think it's popular destination before the pandemic. Uh, thank you, Ardia, for the question. It's, it's very popular, because there is uh, there is so many Betawi culinary, and as you can see in the Betawi Museum, there is so many ancient tools that you can see. So I think the city of Bakan is a recommended destination for you guys before the pandemic, but after the pandemic, I don't know about it. Okay, yes, Ardia, uh, want to ask anything else? Uh, want to ask to me? 
Yeah, in Indonesia is okay. In Indonesia is okay. I will answer it in English. If you want to ask in Indonesian, it's okay, and I will answer it in English. Um, okay, two more. If two more person that root of his, when, when the, the, the Netherlands people attack our country in the past, um, there is a wine battle when the the, the close bottle is open, there is a sound like pletok. Nah, that is the the first, uh, I think the the first history about beer pletok. And the beer pletok is so useful for our health because it contains ginger. Is, is my, okay, thank you, Ms. Mr. Daryl. And for from Mr. Fardian Prawira, yeah. Do you like do you like beer pelotok, Haikal? Yes, I like it very much because it's very very fresh in the throat. If you have cough when you sick, you can drink it, and I think it's good for your health. Okay, uh, is it what is it anyone want to ask to me again? or it's done okay okay guys that's all from our webinar i think and the people that ask some question for me uh, will give will get the gift and the rest i will give it to rafi thank you Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Miss Kiki Ramadani. Okay. Miss Kiki, you want to ask some question to me? Hey, girl, can, I, can I ask something? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, what are the best business opportunity can be developed in the Setu Babakan? Can you explain to me? I'm sorry, Miss. Can you repeat it? Okay, hey Carl, what business opportunity can be developed in the Seattle Babakan? Can you explain to me? What do you I'm think? Sorry, Miss, uh, Miss Kiki, uh, can you type in the chat? Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't listen well. Okay, okay. wait. Okay. Okay, what business opportunities can be developed in Setu Babakan? I think the business opportunity, uh, the I think there is a two thing that we can develop in Setu Babakan. The first one, the, the food, the food culinary. Because there is, uh, as you can see in my presentation, there is the zone B for the Betawi's culinary. And I think you can open the food store about Betawi's culinary in zone B. And the second one, there is there is a souvenir shop, and this in Setubakan there is a souvenir shops, and I think that is a great opportunity for the businessman. I think, I think that's the answer, Miss Kiki.
Is my answer is good for you? Miss Kiki? Okay, thank you. Okay, from Miss Memnelli, okay. Can you open your mic and ask me some question? Okay, Papa, just rejoin again, Pa. Okay, for Miss Memnelli, you can open your mic and ask some question for me. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you. Yes, Maybe uh, you, you can show the zone A or zone B to Miss Kiki once again. Can okay, you? okay. Okay. Uh, Rafi, please uh, show the, zone, the presentation. The slides, the zone A. Okay, but the culinary is it in zone B or zone A? Uh, for the culinary, there is zone B. Okay, so just so this will be an experience again. Okay, thank you, Eka. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Yeah, explain to Miss Kiki about this zone. Okay, the, uh, please uh, show the slide the, in the zone B, please. Okay, Miss Yuki, uh, I will explain it. What is Zone B? The zone B is the area developed for the Betawi's culinary, for the culinary center, for the archipelago with Betawi them for Indonesia. And especially for your question is what business opportunities can be developed in Asia uh, I think you can open the food store in Zone B because there is so many opportunities uh, and many people will come to zone B. But I don't know what if you open it after the pandemic because the Wakan sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed. I think that's all from my explanation was it zone B. Okay, um, I think that's enough for me. Uh, the rest, I will give it to Papa. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Haikal. It looks like we've covered all of our questions. Haikal, is there anything else you want to cover before the end of the webinar? Uh, okay, I just want to say one more thing. I hope this webinar is very useful for all of us, and especially for us, the millennials, who will love and prevent our local culture, especially Jawish culture. Okay, uh, it's a pleasure to be with you guys today. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All that's all from me. Hopefully, it's useful. I leave the rest to the host. Okay, great guys, and thank you all for participating in this webinar. We appreciate you all being here, and I think we know now about the Setu Babakan. Thanks again for joining us today, and uh, should we uh, write the answer? I uh, write the winner on the chat. I'm sorry, V. Should we write the winners on the chat? I, th I think the, the uh, winner... For the winners today is first Ms. Yeni Ariani and the second is Mr. Fardian Shah Prawira and the third is uh, Ardia. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, for the three best questions and for the winners, uh, please type your phone number in room chat and we will give you the door prize.
And before we end this webinar, uh, Haikal, can you please lead the prayer? Okay, guys. Um, I think this is the end of this webinar. I hope, uh, I say it again, I hope this webinar is very useful for all of us, especially for our millennials. Okay, before we end this webinar, I think we should pray first. Uh, pray again. I mean, uh, thank you guys. Pray finish. Okay, guys, thank you for joining this webinar. See you in Seattle. Bye bye. Thank you all. See you. See you in Seattle. Bye For the winners, please type uh, your phone number in group chat. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you guys. You guys rock. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pandi. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, can you open the camera? We want to take a picture for a second, please. Okay. Uh, Mr. Uh, Rafi, can you unshare your screen, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, three, two, one. One more time, okay? <laughs> three, two, one. Okay. With more style. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. You may leave this webinar. Thank you for joining us in this webinar. Bye-bye.